Today I am making a plantain bread but instead of using plantain I'm using block of plantain and here are some of the block of plantain some brown sugar rolled out soaked some yeast salt shortening olive oil and I do have some water on reserve in case I need to use any now I am not a fan of block of plantain but because it's ripe I am using it today in bread so I am going to start off by prepping the block of plantain. I did cut them up into smaller pieces and place them into a blender cup. Next, I will blend it for a few minutes until it is nice and smooth. And the reason why I am blending it just as I would a uh, plantain is basically to get a smooth texture. So you want a smooth texture bread, you want to make sure that you blend your um, provisions such as those. So here it is, all done. I am going to set that aside and move on to the next step. I'm going to start off by adding in my rolled oats to a mixer and I did explain in a previous video as to why I soak my rolled oats followed by flour. I did melt the shortening slightly as it was very cold and you want your ingredients to be at room temperature. Next I'm going in with some yeast, some salt to help balance off the flavor of the sweetness of the bread and I am also going in with some sugar and the blended block of plantain. Once these ingredients have been added, I am going to give that a good mix on medium speed until well combined. Once it's done, I'm going to add in oil and you can use any oil of choice such as coconut oil as well. I am going to allow it to form into a dough for about 8 minutes thereabout. I just want to say here that I did not have to add in any excess water simply because the water from the blogger plantain and also the oil was more than enough to do the bread. So I'm just touching it here to make sure that the consistency I am looking for, which is a medium sticky dough consistency, is the right one. Here I have a lightly greased bowl. I did place my dough into the bowl and I'm going to allow it to sit in a warm place in the corner of the kitchen to double in size. Once that is doubled in size, I'm going to punch it down the middle and return it back to the mixer for three minutes to be needed. Once it's done, this is what it looks like. Next, I'm going to put it onto a flour countertop. And here are the loaf pans that I will be using today. I did oil them slightly. So I will form them into bread and come back. So here they are. And I am going to allow them to sit for another 45 minutes to double in size. Once they are doubled in size, we are going to place them into a preheated oven of 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. And of course, that is depending on the oven used. Once it's finished, I'm going to remove it from the oven. While it's still hot, I love to add some melted butter or some olive oil on top just to keep the crust nice and moist. So today I'm using olive oil and I'm just going to brush the top of the bread. Once that is done, I'm going to allow it to cool slightly in the pans and then remove it and place it onto a cooling rack. Once it's cool completely, I am going to slice into them. But for now, let's just admire the golden brown color of this wonderful plantain bread. So it's a very easy and simple bread that you can make. And the block of plantain is a very good substitute for plantain if you don't have any on hand when you want to make a plantain bread. So I did slice a couple pieces and I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It's nice and soft on the inside. And of course, it's going to taste delicious. So I wanted to comment below and let me know if you will use that or if you enjoyed today's video. Kindly let me know also and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.